Hey, so you've just picked up Unreal Engine and you have no idea where to start. Well, I'm going to get you started super quickly. Now, I'm learning with you and everything I'm about to teach you is what I just got taught, if that makes sense. YouTube videos, Unreal Learning Platform, and uh, a lot of reading about stuff. Blueprints to me is very confusing. I am a developer by trade, but I still find it extraordinarily difficult to know which nodes to use. Again, devving for software and devving games are two very different things. Concepts are the same, but they are very different. But let's get into it. There's three ways to put a switch in your, in your game. Level blueprints or blueprints itself. I'm going to show you a level blueprint very quickly. We can start off by a box trigger. Nice, simple. We'll keep it over here. Nice and close. We don't have to run far. And we want to add ourselves a point light into the level right here. So we're going to make the point lights nice and sharp so we can see a change. We're going to keep it nice and purpley. Uh, let's just change the attenuation radius to something more concentrated. There we go. So with this, with the light selected, you can open up your blueprints, your level blueprints. You can um, then simply right click and say create reference to point light. So now we've got a reference to our point light, but we still need a reference to our box trigger. So select the box trigger in the level. Can I select it? Thank you. Then simply right click and say on actor overlap. Begin overlap. And you want the you want the opposite of that on after end overlap. Now what do these do? If you overlap with the trigger box, if you just in it, anywhere in it, you'll activate the trigger box. You'll activate it as if a button is pressed. If you leave it, you will release the button. So now we want to turn on the light. So it's as simple as dragging off of the light because that's where the action is going to take place. We want to manipulate that light. Then we're simply just going to say toggle visibility. Now you can neaten the graph up as however you want, but I prefer it this way, stacking everything underneath each other. Um, it just makes more sense to me. And then keeping the one part out that is shared amongst these uh, four nodes like that okay so and that is a simple so let me explain to you what i just did the toggle is literally going to toggle if i click on this light it's going to toggle this render over here and if i toggle it now the light goes on and off so we're going to start it and off the render with the tick box and un unchecked save and then let's see what happens if we go light on light off light on light off light on light off now if you want to make that so every time you make a new level you're gonna to have to re-implement this code but that's what blueprints are for so let's create an active blueprint let's call it uh, bp underscore auto switch right open up the auto switch and then what we want to add here is a box collision and we're going to call it light switch which can't spell volume and what we want to add here as well is a point light why because we want to manipulate that point light so the easiest way to see what's happening is if you just drag this point light up a little bit make it a different color we're going to make this one red click ok click compile save it bring it into the level and there we have ourselves ourselves a light that we can manipulate so what we want to do is we just want to make it a bit brighter so we can see it a bit better and what we'll do is we'll bring the cone down so it's a little spot on the floor and then what we can also do is we can just bring up the volume just a bit and make it a bit bigger and then drag it there okay I'll explain why we're dragging it there now make it nice and taller save save okay so as you can see we've got a volume next to our our um, world blueprint so 
we're going to do pretty much the same thing so to save yourself some time you can just simply go to blueprints open your level blueprint and we want to copy this just as part um actually my apologies no we're going to open up and we're going to do it from scratch okay so you can remove this and you can click on the light switch volume or a better descriptive name would be light switch oh, word. light switch trigger we know it's a trigger click on it scroll down to events on begin overlap and on end overlap now we get two different nodes here so what we want to do is we want to get a reference to the actor that will be triggering these volumes and what will be it's going to be our character so you can say get control a uh, get player controller cool and then what we want to do here is we want to say um enable input because we want to enable the input of this light we don't want to keep it permanently enabled reason being performance if a thousand blueprints are listening to hey is there an input happening that could get really expensive on performance so wait i jumped ahead my apologies you don't want that what you want to do is toggle light Sorry guys, I jumped to the switch. You want to point light and you want to say toggle visibility. Just like that. Put that in there. And you want to do the same here. Toggle visibility. And it's as easy as that. Save it, close it. And then we can go a step further, but I'll show you now. So let's make sure our light is off by default visibility off brightness on compile save close hit play so this is the world this is our blueprint oh there it is blueprint so i can have multiple of these so this one's red right so i can have multiple of this so i can put this one in the world and i could make or i could have right click say create child blueprint Bring that into the world open up the child change hey where's the color change the color to let's make it blue compile save now if i go into the child it's going to be blue if i go into the other one it's going to be red if i go into the world it's going to be purple right so that's how you can create different colors so next step is the switch and the switch is a fairly fairly quick one to do now that you know how to do this automatically we're going to create another blueprint actor act the blueprint we're going to say bp underscore light switch we're going to open up the light switch we're going to then work in the in the viewport a bit we want to add two components we want to add a static mesh your static mesh could be the, an actual light switch that you've modeled in blender or it could be in action it, it could be some animations you want to play it's, it's it's anything you want right so we're gonna add our light switch over there and then below that i want to add a again a box collision i want to uh, what are we going to call this we can call this switch range trigger volume because we want to be in this volume if we want to interact with this is a switch right and it has to be the width and length of our character just like that so what we can do is we can go a bit higher add this part a bit oh there we go and just bring this down a bit because we've already parented over here compile save and then what we can do is we can add into the world just like that 90 degrees and there's our wall switch right looks pretty cool well as cool as cubes can look i guess then what we want to do is we want to add 
a light into the world so what we're going to do is we're going to add a point light over the snow here and we are going to make it super red and we're going to make it super bright there we go and source radius just keep that as is or it'll be better if we can just add we've got so many lights now so we want to see it properly now what we can do is we can call this uh let's give this a name so right click uh where is it action Doo -doo -doo. something as simple as renaming there we go um tree roots light okay people the description you've got one light there two lights there three lights there you don't get get, get confused so let's open this guy up let's go to the event graph let's delete these guys so let's bring so this i'm having a okay cool you want to create two variables one two this variable is going to be a boolean and it's going to check is on is the light on this variable is going to be a point light variable object reference okay and we're going to call it light okay so what we want to do now is while we're in the trigger volume you want to do the exact same thing you want to begin overlap create a begin overlap and a begin end overlap now remember how i jumped the gun a bit there so let's just do that again so basically you want to say enable enable input and you want to disable input cool so from there we need a player controller so how are we going to do that it's pretty simple you can drag off here and say get player controller so because both need the exact same thing you can plug it in there and we are good to go so this part is now done now what we want to do is we want to get input from the keyboard so there's two ways to do that you can say keyboard and i'm going to make my t because my e is already used or you could simply go to um, settings project settings input and define input here as you can see my interact is already set to e so we're pushing putting it for t just for demonstration purposes right so minus t so what we want next is a branch b for branch not a switch i said b there we go and what we want to do is we want to check is light on currently it won't be because i set it to false so light is not on so basically we'll just go up here and say and then we'll drag a reference to our light out get and then we'll say toggle visibility cool and just like that we'll add that there because we're going to be using this for both ah, i might as well just keep it neat i guess and put that there and then is on set to false cool Let's copy this actually you can copy but all of that put it at the bottom and false make this true save compile save and close so oh we forgot something we want the light oh my bad we want this light to be off by default so now if we click on this we'll see we've got a bit of a again we missed something we want to make this light visible in the editor there we go now if you go and click on our blueprint we dragged out you'll see another default of your called light none what we want to do is we want to click on light we want to control and we want to control the tree roots light now that's selected save play so if i take my little guy and i push t here our light goes off and on and that is that you have now created a switch add a bit of an animation right here on press e play animation boop light comes on it's as simple as that it's really cool really powerful and um 
so now you can put a world blueprint light you can put a, a level blueprint so a, a light way how many of them you want or you can put a switch in there we go i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this was informative um these will get much more advanced as i keep learning and as i keep pumping out videos but i want to start from the ground up from the basics of the basic a couple of videos down the line i'll show you how to make this footsteps so this is metal this is supposed to be concrete but i should get better footsteps snow don't have anything for that don't anything for that grass leaves and gravel or and dirt of course but that's for a different video at a later stage and uh i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one cheers